Welcome to this week's G.I. Joe Toy Review, where we will be doing Night Force Grand Slam, who actually it came with the Night Force version of um, the shark, which is right here, this beautiful piece of plastic right here, which is the Night Force version of the shark. And, um, so we will be reviewing Grand Slam and not the Night Spectre at the moment. But, uh, before we begin our review on, on, um, Grand Slam, we'll do our usual weekly shout-outs of Back to the Media, which is located on 41 South Loudoun Street here in Winchester, Virginia, where you can buy, sell, and trade video games, records, toys, comics, DVDs, Blu-rays, cassettes, and VHSs. You can find them on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Back to the Media. Their G their email address is back to the media at gmail.com. And their website is www.backtothemedia.com. And while in the area, head over to see Charles over at Time Travelers, Toys and Collectibles. And you can find them on Facebook and their email address is Time Traveler Toys at gmail.com and uh, you can buy and sell comics, toys, and collectibles. Both stores are really great stores. You can find some of the best stuff. And um, so let's take a look at Grand Slam. You know, but before we do, we'll read his file cards. We typically normally do, which actually was a cutout on the box of the of the Night Spectre. And it says it reads as follows. As soon as I get myself in the right spot to do it, it says, uh, Laser Artillery Soldier, codename Grand Slam, file name Barnaby James J, and his primary military specialty is artillery, and his secondary military specialty is electronics engineer, birthplace is Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, and his grade is the E5. Grand Slam received initial training in conventional artillery and served with a 155 millimeter battery, graduated special weapon school, top of class, specialized education, artillery school, advanced tech training, tech, tech school, qualified expert in M16, M1911 A1, HAL, the heavy artillery laser. The quote at the bottom says, he's soft spoken and calm, just a bit shy, intelligent, loves to read, escapist fantasy, science fiction, and comic books. And it's funny, he's a comic book, he's a comic book star. But, uh, not in his, not in his Night Force uniform. But his only accessory he comes with is his helmet with Pfizer, which is just like, um, Flashes. But it's in a dark, the helmet's in a darker mold. And, uh, for Night Force. He doesn't come with a figure stand, which I thought absolutely sucked. Nor does he come with any weapons, which absolutely sucks. But he is a driver. So he gets to drive a weapon, so to speak. And, uh, he does have his brown hair, Caucasian skin tone. Um, his uniform is dark green with the silver pads, which is identical to... Grand Slams, but Grand Slams is red. And the tripwire actually also comes with the same pads and the same pattern, but in a darker gray. And he comes down to his uh, black boots. Everything else is the same dark green color. He's also got dark uh, gloves. So let's take a look at the articulation, which his head does a full 360. His arm does uh, raise to here. Rotates a full 360 all the way around. He does bend at the elbow. Swivel at the elbow. And he also swivels at the wrist. Full 360. He also has the ab crunch feature. Typical T-hook at the legs.
which are actually kind of stiff, but they do swivel out. There's also notice, same as uh, Flash, he has the old school uh, um, Hasbro logo on the front. His leg does move up to here, about like that high. He does have the double knee joint, as well as the rocker at the ankle, as well as his ankle does spin 360. And that's the articulation of of um, Grand Slam. So let's take a look at Grand Slam in driver uniform mode. So here, so here he is in driver mode. You know, like I said, he has no figure stand, no weapons. All he does come with is the helmet. You know, but that's all right. You know, I'm pretty sure I can find a Grand Slam figure stand on the aftermarket. But uh, so I have to keep an eye out for it. But, um, he makes a comic book appearance in his original uniform, which is very similar to Flash's. Actually, I think it's the exactly, exact same one, but that's an issue number one. And Grand Slam only appearance in animated form is in the introductions to the G.I. Joe uh, miniseries. That's about the only time he actually shows up in cartoon form. Plus an animation on the animated com commercials. Um, my opinion, this this figure is like awesome with the awesome color scheme, because you know it's the dark green is very military looking and it's actually good for night missions. So I think Grand Slam would make a great addition to the Night Force. His uh, this figure is actually a pretty awesome figure, except for the exceptions of no figure stand and no weapons. But, uh, not everything's perfect. But, uh, I think this was a great figure. Um, there's no vintage version of Night Force Grand Slam. So I can't send you the HCC 788 or, uh, 4MBX257 for a video of this. Nor Joe Motion Videos, uh, 82. Yes, I added you, Brian. <laughs> Byron. You still my man, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. But, uh. This is a good figure. This is an awesome figure, in my opinion. Uh, great just for having him ride in the uh, the uh, Night Spectre. Not really for hand-to-hand -hand combat, but just to fly the Night Spectre. Which will be a review in two weeks' time. But uh, tune in next week as we review the infamous Cobra Infantry Trooper, the Cobra Trooper, who is also known as Vipers. But... Uh, this is the Cobra Trooper, so tune in next week as we review him, as we go old school and foot soldier style. But uh, so tune in next week for for um, Cobra Trooper. This has been Grand Night Force Grand Slam, and uh, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoyed last week's video also on Storm Shadow. That was a privilege to do that one. But tune in next week to uh, watch Cobra Trooper. I hope you all have a good week. Thank you all for watching. And always remember, now you know, and knowing is half the battle. Have a good week, guys.